hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is Kami with you and in today's video i wanted to share with you uh, me coloring in this coloring book by the Rita Berman and her Asian one this is the page Samarkand however uh, when I rewatched the video uh, when I was doing the editing I noticed it took me like more than 20 minutes to choose the colors to do the swatching so I decided to separate the swatching part separately from the coloring part so if you like uh, swatching and a little bit fun playing with the different colors so stay tuned on this video otherwise you can um, directly go to the part two where i actually start coloring in this book so it will be um i think three parts uh, because it will be like short maybe 30 40 minutes uh, hopefully video so the part one part two is ready this is the part one but the part three is still pending because i haven't finished the coloring so stay tuned for that one for the part three so hope you will enjoy it both and let me know if you like this kind of uh, process or not in the comments so thanks for watching hope you will enjoy it illustration by rita berman this is her asian coloring book and uh, i'm sorry not showing you the front cover i'll, I'll show you I'll probably insert the picture in here, the front cover, because I wanted to prep the pages um, because I'll be working with watercolor. Uh, sometimes I put uh, paper towel, sometimes fabric, so it depends what comes in my hand. So I decided to color this illustration, which is called Samarkand, and I believe this is um, moon and it's kind of uh, night. So I'll try to color it in the night sky. And then I have this, um, the second page here. It's kind of not double spread, but I still want it to look kind of um, in harmony with each other. So I decided to color this one also in the night sky. Because as you can see, there is, I think, um, stars as well. So I think it will work out. I'm honestly a bit nervous because I don't want to ruin this page because this is one of my favorite pages in this book. So I hope it's gonna work. So I have posted already on my community tab that I have been playing around with this watercolor. It's kind of dry, but you can see some gold, some, um, what is it called? I forgot. Um, let me grab the tube and i'll tell you exactly the name it's called not this one well i mixed some gold as well and i also added some just bear with me one second it's called interference yeah interference colors so i have been playing with this as well with interference colors but that's it this time i want to add my rembrandt glass colors and recently I got additional uh, color. So now I have all four. And one of my favorite is Chameleon Violet Blue Green, uh, Chameleon Blue Green Gold, Chameleon Red Violet Blue, and Chameleon Gold Red. I cannot recall which one I got recently, but yeah, one by one I collected them all and I even got extra tube of this one because this one is my favorite. So today, um, uh, let me swatch this for you. So just to have an idea and also for me to make it easy which color I want to use in here. So I'm gonna use my Arto notebook and this is the swatches I did actually for a video but I deleted it I didn't post it actually yeah I'm kind of introvert person as well so I recently got this uh, brush Rembrandt and I have been loving using this one I need to get more of this I'm probably repeating myself but I just love this brush so this is how it looks like in the tube okay I'm just gonna little bit applied that's actually too much yeah that's too much okay I'm gonna just grab some of that and put it in the palette because I'm feeling I'm gonna use this anyways so this is the first one and I'm gonna 
show you more closer up and let's swatch this and that's how it works beautiful color and I think it will work nicely on our stars so let's that dry and the next one I will use chameleon red violet let me just write this down because I'm gonna forget I know that so the first one we used was 862 okay the next one 861 this is the chameleon violet blue actually right let me write it down it's better um, so chameleon violet blue and green next is chameleon violet blue uh, only uh, i guess only uh, oh there is red i missed the red sorry about that so red there's it's three colors usually and the next is 860 i think maybe this one even i got i don't know i'm not sure 860 which is chameleon gold rot i don't know what color is that rot and violet okay and the next one is the last one 863 chameleon blue I guess I was reading it in different language yeah it's red sorry about that because they write it in even six languages I guess so this one is chameleon blue green and gold so yeah now let's swatch them there is a little bit gum arabic that's a bit coming out but this one is also beautiful color i might change my mind actually you never know okay let me just swatch this first and then i will go with the rest i honestly don't like this paper and i have probably talked about it So this is the red violet blue and I didn't apply too much because if I apply it will be same as this one but right now for the starry sky I am trying to not apply too much because previously I had applied too much in my experience and it didn't work I mean it didn't look that much as I wanted to so this is the next one again gum arabic it's building up on the tube uh, here but yeah so this is the gold red violet and the last one is the blue green gold okay it's a lot coming out okay I think that's a lot but again another beautiful color I think this could be my second favorite I like gold to be honest let me apply more of this too because to make it fair because the rest applied too much and I'm just gonna grab something to take this out so I need to apply 861 because I haven't applied it too much. I think this video is becoming Rembrandt uh, glass color video actually. Like so. Now the next one is again the red violets 
so this is the next one I just don't want to squeeze it because I can see the gum Arabic in there and since I'm not going to use this much I don't want to apply it for now like so so I am thinking now which color to use they are still drying um, I'm still thinking between this red violet blue and uh, violet blue green even though this one is my favorite but I think this for the night sky it's more suitable this uh, red violet blue I think I feel like so let it dry once it's dry uh, I'm gonna show you how it dried in the meantime we're gonna start with the page and I don't know what I'm doing here but this is experimenting so hopefully it's gonna turn out well for me and I will not ruin this page I will try not to mix the other side here because I have gold here and I don't want that gold. I just want this with kind of a maybe like purple color or something like that. So for the purple color, let's go with, um, let's do some swatches first. I have some tubes here. These are from White Nights and today I decided to use this. Uh, I have more, but this is the one that I have been, I think, using. I think I opened this. So this is Ultramarine and the Cerulean. I'm not sure. Maybe mix this too. Or maybe just do this. I think it's too light. I need a bit darker color. Um, let me think. I think I'm gonna go with the Van Gogh because I think I have a bit darker there. So I got here Rembrandt. Maybe I'm thinking to use Rembrandt instead. I have this um, Indentron Blue, maybe, maybe this one. And I have here Cobalt Blue and Cerulean, which I use a lot too. I have more um, these Van Gogh and I am not sure for now why I divided them uh, this one is burnt um umber which I poured here because it was quickly drying up I don't know why but particularly this color is like that but it's nice color actually I don't know why I divided them why I made it two container I know not because of it was too much because I have another container but Maybe because of light fastness, I'm not sure. It could be because of light fastness. I don't know why. Anyways, I am digressing, so let's get to the point. So I have Prussian blue, phthalo blue, I have ultramarine. I don't want ultramarine right now. I don't want something granulating. I want something uh, smooth application. Uh, maybe this one, maybe, I'm not sure. I prefer like um, blue but already our uh, chameleon color the glass color already blue it has a blue I don't know if I should use this one so I don't know which one to use I know this probably also will granulate let me check it doesn't have any sign that it's granul it's granulating but you know what I'm gonna stick to the um, indentron blue and then we'll see how it goes from there but this also Prussian blue, not bad, actually. Okay, let me just swatch some of this and we're going to see which is better. So let's swatch some of this blue and I think I will still go for the one, uh, my favorite color, which I already poured here, uh, the violet blue green. I'm still trying. And let's try some of the blues. I'm going to use this sketchbook that let me see where I can use maybe this side so let me try to swatch some of this so ultramarine I'm not gonna swatch because it's granulating I'm gonna try Prussian blue which is five 
08 Van Gogh, so that I remember. Then Thalo Blue, I believe, yes, which is 570. And then Tron Blue, which is uh, Rembrandt. So let me swatch for you the uh, Thalo first. So this is the phthalo blue. I think it's too bright, maybe it could be. Uh, let me try for you Prussian. I think Prussian is more suitable, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'll go with the Prussian. And uh, let me swatch also the uh, the violet, the dark violet one. Okay, so this is the dark violet one. Okay. It's actually Guina Cardone. It's um, 593. I didn't try the pigments here. I think it doesn't matter for the coloring. Anyways, so the last I need to swatch the Rembrandt one. Okay, I think this one is much, much better. It's much darker, exactly what I have been looking for. I'm sorry, I was off, off the camera. So this is the colors. It will be a little bit um, reflective because of the water, but um, I don't know. I feel like this is perfect color. Although I, st I still like uh, how the Prussian blue is drying, but uh, I'm gonna go with this one and I hope I'm not making a mistake, hopefully. so. The video is already getting long, but I'm going to try to do uh, fast forward in some places. Okay, I think that's a lot, but that's fine. And perhaps, um, and I hope I'm not going to mix, go over there as well. So I need to add a little bit of water and I will recline it like so, so that the color won't go there. Okay, I think this water should be enough. Last time when I used this glass color, I added too much of glass and it was a bit too much. It didn't turn out that bad, but it still was a bit too much. Let's try now on the paper, actually, first of all. Okay, so this is the mixture with Indantron Blue and the Glass Chameleon Color by Rembrandt as well. So this is how it looks like. I feel like it's a bit granulating as well. Yeah, I think it's a little bit granulating. I should have known from this uh, swatch, but yes, it's granulating. I think I added blue. I'm not sure what I have added now. It looks like blue as well. Let's compare it. No, maybe, maybe blue, I'm not sure. It could be. It could be, but now that I am thinking already, there is granulating color. Maybe um, to add some Prussian blue, maybe. Or not. 
So I decided to add a little bit of purple. But I have it in the, in the tube. I'm not going to use it from the palette. I'm going to use it from the tube to get nice mixture. So after some time of thinking, I realized that Indantron is actually granulating color. So, um, which I like using as a watercolor, but not on this particular one because I want the background to be smooth. So now I already have mixed it. I can go back unless I mix, an I mix another thing. So I am thinking now, what do I do? So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to keep this, okay, and I'm going to do a new mixture, actually. And let's go this time with um, Prussian Blue. We'll go with, um, with the Chameleon Violet Blue Green, because I think this is too blue for that. Or maybe we should go with the Gold Red Violet. And I have this already. Uh, some I used from previous projects uh, this I believe the violet one this is gold one so I still have a little bit of violet but there is some tint into it I don't know what is that if it is gum arabic or not but anyways I'm going to use on this one as well and maybe just a little bit just I'm gonna use this as well so that I don't get it mixed with the gold one to be in the safe side so I believe this is the one. Let me just double check. So 860, that's exactly what we need. I love, love this watercolors a lot. It's a, the gum Arabic is coming out. So I need to a little bit help it. Okay, let's see, I think it's better right now, much better, okay, even though I keep them horizontally, the gum arabic is just, I don't know, it happens not only with this one, it's in the many watercolors it happens, it's something normal I guess, okay, so it's a little bit dried up, my Prussian blue. I think I need to get more of this. I think I have in the White Nights actually Prussian blue, but still. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is much better. A little bit of water. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my brush. A little bit help it yes i think that's it okay i'm gonna add a little bit more maybe i think this uh, should suffice but let's see okay and let's get this down now i'm gonna add a little bit of more water just a little bit that's it i'm gonna mix it The paint is too thick, I'm gonna add more water because it's watercolor. I know my brush won't be grateful for what I'm doing to it, but so I think this should be enough. Let's just swatch it again. So this is Prussian blue. with the violet glass color. I think, um, so I think I finally decided to go for this and I'm gonna stick with this one. This is Indantron Blue uh, with the glass color but by uh, Rembrandt. 